cast your mind back to the late 80s, early to mid 90s, and there was a huge craze that came over to this country from um, America, as a lot of things do. And uh, they were all the rage. Anyway, it was this, the Filofax. See? Now, uh, I think they were associated with people organising their lives, people in business organising appointments, etc, etc. And then a term um, came up, yuppies. Do you remember yuppies? And they were the first people out those whacking big phones, you know, that were like a house brick. And they always had one of these uh, stitched to them. Uh, anyway, I found this the other day. Now, um, in the in the uh, 90s, my wife was given one of these. She worked in the civil service and she's always had her own way of organising appointments, etc, etc. And uh, at work, th there were so many of them handed out um, to management. And uh, she brought this one home. She said, you may as well use this leather, leather as well, real leather. Oh, yes, smells lovely. There used to be a thing that uh, went on the side there and then clipped onto that part, but uh, that's that's been lost. I won't show you the uh, contents of this. It's got all these things there, uh, an index down there. Uh, what else? The loads of money thing comes uh, comes to mind from uh, Harry Enfield. Do you remember when he used to do that? Loads of money pages there a lot of lot of blank pages actually and uh, addresses and so on and so forth appointments monthly planner anyway um it wasn't for her and really it wasn't quite for me as so i never bought any pages I, I, there was a, a bit of um an industry that sprung up, oh, you've got to have replacement pages for this, you'd have to buy a pack of them, they were quite expensive. And then it came along, mobile phones, and then a bit later you could have a smartphone, you could you could have a planner in your smartphone, and you, you've got it to hand, so you didn't have to carry this around with your, with your details, and potentially if you had uh, confidential details in there and uh, you left it in a case or anything in a in a, um, a bar or a restaurant or oh, who knows what could happen to you you know <laughs> it could be quite serious that but do any of you uh, still have one of these one of these and uh, have you got any memories of it maybe amusing memories maybe infuriating memories whichever but it was a massive craze and then all of a sudden it seemed to sort of just die off anyway i went through and i picked out various uh, pages and bits and bobs inside that i'd written things in which i've taken out and then this fell out this can you see it it's from uh, it's a spare card from monopoly and it says, mortgage, spare card, the strand, mortgaged for £110. Card must be turned this side up if properly mortgaged. Uh, and then it says, with one house, £90, two houses, £250, three houses, £700, four houses, uh, £875, hotel, £1,050. Um, I think this went through a stage when, when we were into board games and i've always been a bit of a fanatic about monopoly uh, i haven't played it for a while and um my wife used to say that I, I i became a bit of a tyrant when i played this because it was the one thing that i was extremely competitive uh with and if if there was any chance of me uh losing i conceded the game I have no memories of that last part, but there again, I wouldn't, would I? But Monopoly, still got a board, still got a box up in the loft. Haven't played it for a long, long time, because we went into uh, Trivial Pursuits then. 
and uh, and that was that was another story i'll save that for another day okay i hope you've enjoyed seeing this don't forget if you've enjoyed this leave a like uh if you've not subscribed well worthwhile you subscribing and uh, let me know your stories about your file of facts and what became of it okay thanks for watching have a great day bye for now